everyone, and welcome back to Drama O Rama Online. I'm Mrs. Combs, and I'm so excited to share this time with you today. Now remember to have your journals ready, and let's get started. For today's warm up, we are going to play with the tongue twister rubber baby buggy bumpers. Say that with me slowly rubber baby buggy bumpers. <laughs> I'm going to call out an emotion and then say the tongue twister. Then I want you to repeat after me using your voice as well as your face and body to show the emotions that I call out. Now press pause if you want to practice more. Are you ready? The many ways to say rubber baby buggy bumpers. Say it as if you are jealous. Rubber baby buggy bumpers. Your turn to try the emotion jealous. Say it as if you are shocked. Rubber baby buggy bumpers. Your turn to try the emotion shocked. Say it as if you are cruel. Rubber baby buggy bumpers. Your turn to try the emotion cruel. Say it as if you are delighted. Rubber baby buggy bumpers. Your turn to try the emotion delighted. Say it as if you are nervous. Uh, rubber baby buggy bumpers. Your turn to try the emotion nervous. Say it as if you are excited. Rubber baby buggy bumpers. Your turn to try the emotion excited. Say it as if you are clever. Rubber baby buggy bumpers. Your turn to try the emotion, clever. Say it as if you are relieved. Rubber baby buggy bumpers. Your turn to try the emotion, relieved. Say it as if you are furious. Rubber baby buggy bumpers. Your turn to try the emotion furious. Today, we are going to explore dialogue. Dialogue is the conversation between two or more characters in a story. And when characters start talking to one another, the story comes to life. Dialogue tells us how characters feel and react. It also helps move the story along. We are going to explore the Panchatantra fable, the monkey and the crocodile. 
Panchatantra are Indian folk tales and fables that were written in Sanskrit over 2,500 years ago. They feature animal characters with human traits, and they teach us a moral lesson at the end. I'm going to tell the story, pausing three times to explore the character's dialogue more deeply. I want you to listen to my directions as I act it out, and I want you to act it out with me. Are you ready? The monkey and the crocodile. A Panchatantra dialogue. Once upon a time, a clever little monkey lived in a fruit tree on the banks of a river. It was the sweetest fruit tree in all the forest. Well, in the same forest lived a crocodile and his wife. One day, as the crocodile was swimming down the river, he stopped to rest under Monkey's fruit tree. Monkey, being kind, saw that the crocodile was tired and hungry, and he shared his fruit with him. The crocodile ate, thanked Monkey, and swam back home. Then the crocodile started thinking more and more about Monkey and his kindness. And so he went back to visit him the next day. They shared stories, they ate the fruit together, and they spent every afternoon together becoming wonderful friends. The next day, Monkey, being kind, offered to give his fruit to Crocodile as a gift for his wife. So, Crocodile's wife enjoyed the fruit, but she did not enjoy the stories of this kind monkey. She was jealous. She had a terrible plan. The fruit is so sweet. I wonder how sweet the monkey's heart would be since he eats the sweet fruit every day. She asked her husband to bring her monkey's heart. Crocodile said, well, I cannot do that to my friend. He trusts me. I'll just bring you the sweet fruit instead. And she replied, I don't want the sweet fruit. I want his heart or nothing. Freeze. In this first part, the dialogue reveals a very cruel and very jealous wife. And it also reveals Crocodile's reaction of shock to her jealousy and cruelty. So we're going to explore the jealousy, the cruelty, and the shock with our faces, our bodies, and our voices saying the dialogue. Are you ready? Let's play the jealous wife. The fruit is so sweet. I wonder how sweet Monkey's heart would be since he eats this sweet fruit every day. Now let's play the shocked crocodile. I cannot do that to my friend. He trusts me. I will get you more fruit instead. Now let's play the cruel wife. I don't want more fruit. I want his heart or nothing. The crocodile felt terrible. He didn't know what to do. He wanted to make his wife happy, but he didn't want to lose his best friend. He had to make a very difficult choice. So, Crocodile swam down the river to Monkey's tree. Well, Monkey saw Crocodile approaching and was so happy to see him and greeted him. Well, hello and welcome back. I'm so happy to see you. 
here is some sweet fruit for you that I picked today. Well, Crocodile replied nervously, oh, well, actually, I'm here to invite you to dinner. Oh, well, my wife wants me to bring you home for dinner to thank you for sharing your fruit with us. Oh, Monkey was delighted. What a kind and generous offer. Thank you. I accept. Freeze. In this part, the dialogue reveals a very delighted and excited monkey upon seeing his friend Crocodile and being invited to dinner. It also reveals a very nervous and guilty Crocodile. So we are going to explore the delight, the excitement, and the nervousness in the dialogue with our faces, our bodies, and our voices. Are you ready? Let's play the delighted monkey. Why, hello and welcome back. I'm so happy to see you. Here is some sweet fruit that I picked for you today. Let's play the nervous crocodile. Well, actually, I'm here to invite you to dinner. Well, my wife wants me to bring you home to thank you for sharing your fruit with us. Now, let's play the excited monkey. What a kind and generous offer! Thank you! I accept! So, monkey hopped onto Crocodile's back and they made their way down the river. Crocodile was happy that he tricked Monkey and blurted out the real reason for his wife's invitation. Monkey was horrified, but he didn't panic. He thought quickly and said, Oh, well, why didn't you say so earlier? I'm happy to give your wife my heart, but I keep it in my fruit tree. We're going to have to go back and get it if you want to make your wife happy. Well, Crocodile believed him and said, Oh, I'm so glad you're okay with this. Well, let's go back and get it then. Well, when they reached the riverbank, Monkey jumped quickly off of Crocodile's back, scurried up the tree out of his grasp, looked back at him and was furious. How can I keep my heart outside my body? You ba go back and tell your wife how foolish you are and never, ever come back and see me again. Freeze. In this part, the dialogue reveals the cleverness of the monkey, the relief of the crocodile, and then the fury of the monkey. So we are going to explore the cleverness, the relief, and the fury using our faces, bodies, and voices. Are you ready? Let's play the clever monkey. Oh, well, why didn't you say something earlier? I'm happy to give your wife my heart, but I keep it in my fruit tree. We will have to go back and get it if you want to make your wife happy. Let's play the relieved crocodile. Oh, I'm so glad you're okay with this. Let's go back and get it then. Let's play the furious monkey. How can I keep my heart outside my body? Go back and tell your wife how foolish you are and never ever come back and see me again. Disappointed and embarrassed, Crocodile swam back home empty-handed. The moral of the story is, staying calm and quick thinking can get you out of difficult situations. The end. Today, we were able to explore dialogue 
or the conversations between two or more characters in the monkey and the crocodile. We showed the relationship between the jealous and cruel wife and the foolish crocodile. We also revealed how the relationship between the clever monkey and the crocodile changed. By adding dialogue, we were able to understand the characters more deeply and make this Panchatantra story come to life. It's time for today's journal prompt. I want you to think about your favorite moment when the characters were talking to each other. Was it when the cruel wife was scheming with her crocodile husband? Or when the delighted monkey was thanking a nervous crocodile? Or was it when clever monkey escaped from crocodile and got furious with him? I want you to write a paragraph describing how the dialogue helped us understand the characters more deeply and how the dialogue made the story come to life. And remember, use details. Thank you so much for exploring dialogue in our Panchatantra story today. See you next time.